My name is Lutando Mateza. I'm the Indian Champ of Champs 2015 player of the tournament. This is Lutando Mateza from Guguletu in Cape Town. He dreams of playing professional football in Europe and wants to be the next Bafana Bafana star. Last year, Mateza led Ajax Cape Town's under-17s to the Engine Knockout Challenge and Engine Champs of Champs titles at the Lucas Moripi Stadium. Ajax beat Supersport United 2-1 in the final in Matsatsansa's own backyard. Mateza received the Player of the Tournament Award after consistent performances at the 2015 Engine Knockout Challenge and Engine Champs of Champs. Lutandu signed a professional contact with Ajax Cape Town. Mateza is now part of the Urban Warriors PSL squad, a crucial step towards living his dream. The Engine Knockout Challenge is arguably one of South Africa's premier youth football competitions. The Under-17 football tournament started here at the Stephen Regan Sports Grounds in Mitchell's Plain 13 years ago. The Engine Knockout Challenge has long been a platform for young aspiring footballers to showcase their talent and launch their professional careers. Like Mateza, many of South Africa's most successful professional footballers used the Engine Knockout Challenge as a platform to attract the attention of local and international scouts. Bafana Bafana stars like Tulani Serrero, Dane Clayt, Kermit Erasmus, Shamir Doty, Dalen Klaassen all made their mark at the Engine Knockout Challenge before becoming professional stars. Well, it, it goes back, uh, I'm happy to say, 13 years now um, when we got involved in, in, in football as, as, as a sponsored sport for the brand Engine, and when we entered uh, the PSL in 2003 with Santos we realized we can not only play at the at, at the top level but we needed to uh, get involved in development and youth level and in those days we saw and we did some analysis and we saw that there was not much happening in the under 17 category so with the assistance of uh, the likes of Clive Barker, Gary Bailey and a few others we put a plan together and came up with this concept of the Engine Narco Challenge. 16 team format, 20 games, um, one trophy, five regions. Um, and yeah, I'm very, very happy to say that after 13 years, it's grown to be arguably one of the best uh, under 17 programs in the country. Aspiring young footballers like Lutandu Mateza used the Engine Knockout Challenge as a platform to launch his professional football career. First, is, uh, uh, I have to, to, to honour and uh, praise and, and acknowledge uh, uh, Engine for, 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 for not trying to put money at the senior level only, but also to putting it in the youth to say that this is the future. This is, this is our, our under-20s are coming from here. I can guarantee you we have players from under-20 from here. So, so Engine has already achieved the marketing objective already because they're producing players for the national team under, under, under 20. More tournaments like this, not only in Cape Town, but teams traveling South Africa to play in tournaments like this. That is very good for our development of the club and so our national teams will also benefit. I think the quality of the football is uh, quite high. I'm very actually surprised like, uh, with, the, with, the, with the competition and with the quality of the football. Well, the most important thing is, the, is, is to have quality competition. It's, a, it's an important factor in developing a player. You can't develop without proper resistance and tournaments like this offer this. So we're very grateful for Engine for hosting these kind of tournaments because it, it allows boys an opportunity to play against really, really tough teams and, and force their best game out of them. So these tournaments for us, of course, to develop them technically, tactically, so they can learn from the different systems they see here. And more importantly, to develop a competitive edge. It's important for them going forward. It gives exposure to, to, to young boys and moreover this time around you see there's it's not only teams that are, uh, have academies in, in the PSL, PSL clubs, you also see teams that are not associated with PSL clubs coming up and doing well in this tournament. 
So it gives opportunity also to those boys who are sort of so disadvantaged not to be part of big academies. And it, it, it's, a, it's, a, it's a good initiative from, from the engine. Scouts from local professional clubs as well as from clubs abroad boldly mark the engine knockout challenge in their calendars as a valuable scouting program to identify future talent. It's twofold. It's first of all, it's supporting our existing clients from the different academy teams that uh, will be playing. And the other element to it is looking at possible new talent. It helps academies see how their players are developing year on year. Um, and if you look at players that are coming through, for example, one of our players, Tobacco Morani, who was player of the uh, defender of the tournament 2012, will now represent uh, the uh, under-23s at the Olympics uh, this coming week. So, I mean, it's, it's there for all to see that it's a, a great uh, tournament to develop talent. Cape Town as well, it's uh, also our fishing uh, point uh, where we can, where, where we, we, get, we get a lot of players as well. What we wanted to create is a, is a platform for players to go on and basically be exposed, um, not just here but across the world, but from anywhere, any scout, any coach can go on board and find the player that they're looking for. Um, so we wanted to platform as many players. Certainly one or two have already shown us, although we're aware of it, they have shown us that comes the hour, cometh the man, and there are two or three of them here that have already stood up, got onto the plate, and certainly they will be challenging next year to maybe get into the PSL squad. The engine knockout challenge is also used by national youth team selectors to identify players for the South African national youth team squads. It is vitally important, like this, the engine tournament. It teaches the players that, uh, you know, when, when they get to a higher level, there's pressure. And these boys that are at these academies, uh, at the big clubs, they, they need to understand that it's about performance, an elite level performance for these boys to, to progress to become professional footballers. It's, it's like I say, it's like the PSL, you know, it gets better every year. And the tournament like this, it gets better every year. I mean, you look at a team like Soweto, All-Stars, you know, um, we, we, we've heard about them, but now when you see them, you see the, the, the work that has gone in in the academies. Over its 13 years, the Engine Knockout Challenge has touched more than 25,000 young aspiring footballers. Our objective was to, to create a pipeline for, for um, young aspiring footballers who want to make it into the semi-professional and professional ranks, the NFDs and the PSLs of this world. And uh, after 13 years, we've had upwards of 120 young men that have moved on to bigger and better things. Um, last year in the 2015 Under 20 World Cup, played in Chile, there were 11 players in the squad that actually came through the, through the Knockout Challenge program. This tournament has become an institution, much more than just a platform to develop local youth football. The tournament also shapes the future of South African youth and develops players on and off the field at grassroots level across the country. All players participating in the tournament attend life skills programs. It's a good initiative because you know what, uh, it, it, it's an opportunity for, for young aspiring talents to come through and be scouted. You know, not only that, you know, it, it keeps them busy with, with football and uh, keeps them away from the bad influences. In 2014, the Engine Knockout Challenge evolved to become South Africa's only under-17 national club football competition when the regional winners met for the first time in the Engine Champs of Champs at the Nike Centre in Soweto. We wanted to align ourselves with a sport that has mass participation, that is a popular sport, and you don't have to look very much further than football. Um, so it's, it's, a, it's a good fit. Um, it's our present and emerging market uh, folk that follow football and we just want to give back and, and, and you know development is very important for the engine brand. We're involved in a whole host of categories with sponsorship. Football is our premier program and we've identified that if you don't create the pipeline at the lower level uh, you're not going to create any difference at the, at, at the upper level. So you cannot only play at the top level, you have to do something for development and, and, and the pipeline coming up. Host club Supersports United lifted the inaugural Engine Champs of Champs title in 2014 after a hard-fought battle against Bidvest Wits. Last year, 
the Urban Warriors under 17 team scooped the Indian Champs of Champs title for the first time at the Lucas Moripi Stadium. The 2016 Indian Knockout Challenge was primed to unveil new champions and unearth fresh stars. The 2016 series of tournaments kicked off in Port Elizabeth on the 1st of July. The impact that this tournament has on uh, young players in our region is really significant because uh, we are in an area where drugs, gangsterism is prevalent. So when the knockout challenge comes around, there's excitement in our area and uh, the players can't wait for this. And we know there are spin-offs. Uh, in our in our region, uh, where you know we, we've had last year players that were picked up at this tournament and have gone on to academies and to professional clubs. After a weekend of tough encounters, Chipper United met Rangers FC in the final at the Galvandale Celtic Sports Complex. The Chili Boys under 17s were eager to defend their previous year's success. After a 90-minute battle, both teams failed to find the back of the net. In a sudden death shootout, Rangers cracked and Chipper scored to lift the regional title to qualify for the prestigious Engine Champs of Champs tournament. Durban coughed up some tense action. The big names and more fancied teams of Amazulu and Golden Arrows found the going tough and were eliminated in the early rounds of the tournament. Nkele High School from Pine Town caused a stir by reaching the Durban Regional Finals. Against all odds, Nkele raced through the group and knockout stages to meet the much-fancied Royal Eagles in the final at the Moses Mabida Sports Complex. Both first-time finalists, Mkele and Royal Eagles, displayed focused attacking football. Favour shone on Mkele, who took a 1-0 win over their rivals to be crowned the Engine Knockout Challenge Durban Champions. Let's take the lead here. And I said, most of them, they used to play in the small township. So here, yeah, there's a team like Amazulu, Royal Eagles, Golden Arrows. And all these players that in our school, they want to go and play to this team. So for them to be in this tournament, I think it's a privilege to them. It's an opportunity for the boys to be away from KZN. This is number one. And two, there will be so many teams uh, in, in the national tournament that they, they also the scout that the guys are looking forward to, to go there and showcase the, their talent. So it will, be, it will be a great opportunity for the boys. In Bloemfontein, the tournament provided several close encounters. Under 17 sides from PSL clubs like Bloemfontein Celtic and Free State Stars were favourites to lift the title, but encountered strong resistance and were unable to reach the final. Newcomers Rue Stars met eight-time champions Virginia Sports Academy, formerly known as the Harmony Sports Academy, in the Bloemfontein final. In a David and Goliath matchup, Stars caused a surprising upset by beating the pedigreed team of Virginia to claim their first ever Engine Knockout Challenge title.
Uh, it's a great pleasure as Roosters to win this tournament. And, and we are humbled to, to be crowned the champions of this 2016 tournament. I would like to thank the sponsors of this engine uh, uh, challenge. And last, I would like to thank NG for, for supporting Young Talent. Today, I'm proud to say we won the tournament to the champions, and it, it means a very, very uh, everything to, to me and, and, and my boys. As usual, the Cape Town playoffs produced a dramatic weekend of top quality football at Paro Park, the home of Vasco da Gama Football Club. I was saying that the, the, the engine tournament is actually one of the, the best things that could ever come to the club, so it really means a lot to us to host this big, huge competition. I mean, the engine knocker challenge for the second year in a row, and there's so many players from last year that have gone into the national setup that has gone into play for professional clubs. So, as a club is hosting the tournament, we actually feel proud for those achievements for those youngsters. Since the inception of the Engine Knockout Challenge, Ajax Cape Town has dominated the Cape Town leg of the tournament. The defending champions had a nerve-wracking start, qualifying for the knockout stages only at the final hurdle. They recovered and reached the final, beating an informed Fischer in their semi-final match. Old Mutual Academy progressed to their first ever engine knockout challenge final, beating host club Vasco da Gama in a hard-fought match, setting up a mouth-watering final against old foes Ajax Cape Town. The Old Mutual Football Academy then caused a massive upset by beating the reigning NGN Champs of Champs title holders Ajax Cape Town 1-0 in a tense quality final. We're going to leave here and we're going to work hard. We're going to continue to work hard, the boys got to focus. Um, and yes, when we go to the national championship again, it's going to be an excellent tournament where they can be challenged, where they've got to see what the opponents are about and find a solution again. And yes, we're proud as Old Mutual Academy to go to the nationals and definitely will try to win it for the Western Cup. It's extremely important. Uh, it's something that every team, uh, not just the 16 in this tournament, but the teams in the playoff look forward to. And competition is what makes people grow. It's what makes people uh, push to be better. All our players are very, very disappointed um, uh, uh, in themselves because they wanted to achieve more. It gives growth and development, you know, for the youth of the country, you know, because this is not only played only in, in Western Cape, but it's also played around, you know, throughout the country. So it's also a perfect platform for the youngsters to grow and for the youngsters to get an opportunities, you know, and scouters as well out there. This is where they also get, you know, good quality players, you know, from youth level. And this is where the opportunity comes in, you know, for these youngsters, you know, from, from lower level. With a high number of professional clubs based in Gauteng, the Johannesburg leg of the Engine Knockout Challenge always produces tough, passionately contested competition. Um, the standard is very high in, in, in Johannesburg because of the PSL teams that's here. You know, you go to PE, there's, there's one PSL team which is Chopper, you go to Cape Town, there's two. You know, you go to Turban, there's one or two. But when you come to Johannesburg, there's eight, there's, there's ten teams, you know, that's playing PSL. So obviously the academy is going to be a little bit better because there's more structure, there's more finances if I can say that you know there's more sponsorships and stuff like that but on the end of the day um, we are here for the kids and the development of the kids we 
But yes, we want to win the tournament. Everyone wants to win the tournament. But I think it's for us, it's more about the progression of the kids into the next phase. The, the objective of Kaiser Chiefs is always the same. Let's groom for first team. But how do we groom? The most important thing is they get competition. The competition will be these tournaments like this ones. Uh, Engine has provided a good platform for these younger players to compete in. Bidvest Vits eliminated favourites and defending regional champions Mamelodi Sundowns on penalties in their semi final. We feel amazing. We're very proud of the boys. They're very happy. Their energy is good. And we, and we think we have a chance. It's three finals now we've been in. We've lost in the previous two. And we're hoping that the third time will be the charm. Okay, I feel very good that we reached the semi final. But most definitely disappointed that we lost. And it was kind of not obvious that we we're going to defend this tournament. But then I feel very good for my team because we got where we are, because we're united. And we worked as a team and we gave our all. So I feel very good for my boys. But then my dream is to see myself somewhere, some level of football. In the second semi final, Orlando Pirates cruised past Soweto All Stars for a place in the final of the Johannesburg Engine Knockout Challenge. I'm proud for my boys to reach in the semi-final. They did well. Uh, we are here to learn, so we learn. So I'm proud for them. They are so very, very important because they take out our players out of drugs, uh, crime. They learn more, uh, and it creates opportunities from, uh, for them. The stage was set for a thrilling encounter between the youth sides of two great PSL teams in the final leg of the 2016 series. So Orlando Pirates met Bidvest Vits in the final. The final between Orlando Pirates and Bidvest Vits lived up to all expectations as both teams produced top quality football, not yielding an inch to their opponent. When the full-time whistle sounded, the match was deadlocked at one all and proceeded to a penalty shootout. In a tense end to a dramatic weekend, Orlando Pirates came from behind to beat Bidvest Vitz 6-5 to take their second title in the Engine Knockout Challenge Championship. By winning the tournament doesn't mean that we already achieved. There's a lot that we still have to do. I believe the boys, given enough time, they will still grow because our goal is to make sure that we produce players that will go to the first team. It will be our hope and our wish to make sure that we win the national championship and to make sure that the Orlando Pirates brand is growing. Last day we lost it, so this day it was a must to come here and then we have to win. My dream is to reach uh, uh, they like to play for PSL teams, like pa Orlando Pirates team, and uh, I want to play World Cup for the next coming World Cup on 2020. Chippa United, Nkele High School, Roo Stars, the Old Mutual Football Academy, Orlando Pirates, and host club Super Sports United will compete for the coveted 2016 Engine Champs of Champs to be staged at the High Performance Centre at the University of Pretoria from Friday the 7th of October to Sunday the 9th of October 2016. The race to lift the ultimate prize in under-17 football begins in earnest. Who will be the best of the best?
engine. With us, you are number one.